Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. So a lot of you who've been watching my videos know that there's been a couple of times when I've run out of battery on my camera. So to address that, I bought the Vmote Motorcycle USB phone charger from Amazon. It cost me about 16 bucks. I'll have all the specifics and the full name and description uh, in a picture I'll show up here and I'll put a link below. I'm not an Amazon partner, so it's just a link for you. So there's a couple of ways to mount it. I'm going to show you uh, one way that you can do it if you already have a battery tender on your motorcycle or scooter. So if you're lucky enough to already have a tender on your motorcycle, sorry about the cars going by, as my wife does, then you can actually connect this up to that. The only thing is that the polar polarity is swapped. To address that, they also provided a plug that will swap the polarity. I'm going to mount that and show you how it works. So all you gotta do, take off the weather cap there. Just plug that in like this, all right? Then here is the USB charger. You can go ahead and plug it in. You can see my wife's, it, it also, oh, I forgot to tell you, this thing also has a voltage indicator. And uh, one of the things is you can turn it on and off, and it happened to be on when I did this. And there are the two USB plugs that you can use. We're not going to do this for some reason, even though my, my wife's bike and mine are the same year. Mine did not come with a battery tender, and I never put one on, so that's fine. Okay, so this is the box that the USB plug came in. I went ahead and put it back just for unboxing purposes here. Uh, the, it comes with the plug. That's the connectors to the battery. I believe it's a two amp fuse in there. It comes with the polarity swapping plug and uh, some mounting hardware. This is one of the mounting options. Actually, this is the option that we're going to be using. The other option is uh, it has a mounting bracket that I could actually screw on to something. I'm not going to drill a hole and screw anything onto my ruckus. I'm going to use this bracket. Now, I've mentioned that I really don't want to. You can see how I have one of my camera things set up, and I might want to move it here or here, and it depends on what I'm doing. And I really don't have a lot of room in here to do other things. So what I'm going to do, and this is the thing I hope works, is I am going to mount this on the turn signal and then I'm going to have the wires follow the trace into the cowling. Since we don't have the battery tender connector there, we're going to go open up the cowling. And the only thing I need for the rest of the work I need to do is a Phillips head screwdriver. So this is actually the most concerning part, whether or not I can spread this enough to go around that bracket without breaking it. So let's give it a shot. And that folks was the hard part. Four screws. There you go. Here's four screws. Okay, got you guys another angle. Let's see if we can do this together here. What you really need to do is kind of come out and up. And there we go. Very easy. What you gotta be careful for are these tabs right here. You don't wanna break those off and let's go right in here and here. Now, I will get you over to this side. We'll connect up the battery. Okay, so that's the negative terminal. Here's a positive terminal. Here's the cover to the fuses right here. And you just pop that up like that. And put it where you won't lose it. Now, you're going to want to do the negative side first. The reason being is because that's the ground. So you're going to take the ground off. Now there's a square bolt in here. The reason it's square is because it'll hold itself in place while you're doing work like this.
There we go. All right, and once it's in there, Go ahead, tighten your screw back down, and this is going to go on the positive side, right there. Alright, this is a newer bracket than I have seen, but that's okay. So, And that's in there. Go ahead and test it. Here's the on off switch. Just turned it on. 12.6 volts. Before I forget, I guess I'm going to go ahead and put on the fuse box cover. Here it is. A little bitty snap right there that just clamps around. And there's really not much to it, it just lifts right off. Alright, so all I have to do is uh run this plug all right so here's the rest of the mounting hardware for this bracket right here just have a nut that goes on the top and you can see that there is a recess in here that will hold the nut there we go Uh, let's see if this mounts okay and it should hopefully that screw is not in the way need to actually back it off push it in and then screw it up and that holds it in place there's a little bracket in there that will hold this screw and make sure this doesn't come out so y'all see it when you buy it if you buy it now I'm going to run this cable right down here and into the cable raceway where the light cables go anyway. So there we go. Perfect. I'll go ahead and plug this in. Just so I'll know how far to take it up. Make sure all is working, and it is. And this came with a tie wrap, twist tie, I should say. I'll just use it for inside here. That looks good. I am, I'm happy with that. Okay, let's put the cowling back on. All right, you can see we have the tabs here. It's got a hole here and it's got one on the other side. You guys need to not be afraid to get in here and do things. The trick to doing long distance trips is uh, you need to learn how to do your maintenance. All right, this side. Snugged into place. There, that size snapped in. We're done, guys. Let's make sure everything starts up and acts the way it should. And it sounds really good. Okay, that's how my camera is set up. This is what runs out of battery. I have an adapter here. And this is for my audio plug. And this is, oops, wrong side. This is for charging. It's a USB-C. And you can turn that on. You can see right now, without it running, I got 12.5 volts. All right, turn off the camera. Turn off the power. No light at all. If it's charging, a red light will come on. There you go, charging. There 
Here's your waterproof cover. So I haven't had a time to test out this USB charger. I'm not really recommending it. It was only 16 bucks. It was easy to mount. It'll probably work. If not, then the bracket's there for another one. Who cares? It's only 16 bucks, right? Hope this video helped you guys. If it did, please give me a big thumbs up, like, and subscribe, and I will see you in the next video.